update to my uh, solar battery backup system. YouTube fans, um, this is my um, solar grid tie and battery backup system. My Aura. Peak today we see um, 2,208 watts out of 2,600 watts. The highest we've seen so far is 2,791 watts out of 2,600 watts. At present, going on to the house at present. Overcast day today. On my uh, battery system here. Out of 1560 watts. We got a 380 going in. The peak we have ever seen of the 15 is uh, 1377. Battery is at a hundred percent. Power simple is on right now. We are charging some batteries here and uh, running these uh, fans out here in the meantime. Not much sun today, YouTube. My battery bank is on it here. Well, let's break it down stages. So, a lot of you are probably wondering what's going on here. I started out building my project uh, maybe about 10 years ago or, or more. Um, so all these lines you see here, they have different different things. They come in to do um, different panels array because like I say, I bought my, my product off eBay and do it in stages. So let's start on pin one here. This is one set of array and we have 1200 watts on this one. On another set of array, we could turn off here in two. We have 1400 watts that we could turn off. On another set of array, we have 960 watts that we could turn off. On another set of our array, we have 600 watts that we could turn off. This is my first set of panel on the roof, 600 watts down here. I have this piece of wire here because my my dogs keep chewing on it so i keep this wire here so as to prevent them from tearing it off <coughs> they're they're growing up now say so yeah i could take this off this is a 12 volts out to the house which comes off this 
and this goes upstairs to the bedrooms because we have low voltage lighting in the bedrooms upstairs likewise in my bathroom i have an entertainment system in my bathroom that is built off um car stereo system a um, 17 inch monitor and um, surround sound speaker system likewise that same 12 volts also comes back and feed this which is this going up one such a wire which isn't connected yet that's going to run the outside lighting around uh, my sunroom here but the other sets of 12 volt wire comes over and it's running these as you can see it's not finished stapled to the uh, to the frame as yet but these are all 12 volts so out of in my uh, sunroom here this is run off 12 volts at night time and we're out here relaxing these are 120 volts which is running off the power simple right now which is also running off the sun as we speak likewise from the battery but there it is back over here that's my um 240 volts ac solar grid cut off switch and this is coming from the aurora this is a plug that i could unplug it from the wall i could unplug this from the wall i could unplug this from the wall and this whole unit you see here is sitting on wheels battery and everything is inside here and we could roll this out of the way if we chose to to you know wipe the floor or whatever it is um on this 12 volt so this is working right now and this controls those lights this 12 volt is not connected as yet but it is going to run the lights on the outside of my uh, my song here so like i said it's a disconnect switch for um 1200 watts of panel that's a disconnect switch for 1400 watts of panel disconnect switch for 960 watts of panel disconnect switch for 600 watts of panel so as you can see that's why we have this can deal with here so 600 watts of panel is inside here along with a 12 volts going to the house uh, two sets of panel is in this condo it here and then this one here uh 1200 watts i mean sorry 12 volts going out for the outside light in here and uh this is my breaker these are two breakers i'm using here car audio breaker and these are for the solar panel that goes into the Aura. Aura also come with its own DC color switch, which is sitting right here. Uh, just a minute. Uh, so um, yes, YouTube. So um, as I was saying, um so that's what's going in to the house right now as we as i can see it's an overcast day today but um that's my aura comes over and as for my flex max we're doing a um equalizing right now on the batteries And that's the cutoff switch, or should I say the breaker for the FlexMax 80. So, leaving my power simple, it's 120 volts, goes over, comes back in here, my Reliance transfer. Same thing, uh, leaving the 240 volts here, which is from the yeah, Aura boat comes over into my Reliance. Okay, and uh, comes over in my Reliance um, 
transfer box right here. 120 volts of the power simple comes up, goes in here. And what I have in this, I have a TV, all the circuits downstairs on the entertainment system. I have the foyer area. I have my refrigerator on here. Um, I have the uh, coffee pot uh, outlet and a few other stuff is on this. That's for my bathroom upstairs. And that's for the lighting down here in the garage and it's in the um, laundry room and in the kitchen here. So basically, every um, thing downstairs here on the main floor is on the uh, Reliance transfer switch in these things here, the breakers. So at present, we are um, doing, we're not on gen right now. We are doing line because we have the aura feeding into the uh, system as well. As for the aura, 240 comes in here and that's the breaker, 240 volts. So that is my system YouTube. my system and um, like I say in the even time when we come home from work we will uh, flip these switches back to gen the switches that we generally flip to gen would be are on on the battery at night because we run basically half of the house on battery at night what we would flip at night onto battery would be the TV the refrigerator the uh, coffee pot area that the outlets on that side the um, my bathroom upstairs. So all these would go over in the morning time, then we flip them back to um to Jen. So let me take you upstairs and uh, show you my panels or some of my panels. So looking through the window here, YouTube, and you're looking, this is the, the roof of the other sunroof, my sunroom. This is the roof of it, and these are some of my panels. So we have um, Renegades. So those are my panels that I have up here. On the upper roof up here that we can we can see right now we have six hundred watts watts more of Renegade solar panel. But this is where we're focusing on, as we could see. So these are my panel, and they're facing west. They get full sunlight at about, um, I would say, 11, 30, 12 o'clock on. All these panels will be in full sunlight. And they will be in full sunlight until maybe about uh, 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Because these panels are more at the back of the house. You know, so, um, but I'm happy. I can't complain, YouTube. And over there, that's my very, very, very first 45 watts Harbor Freight solar panel, which we're planning to take that whole shed thing down. That's like a gazebo. Yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna take that down and make a new platform. I'm gonna put maybe about two or three hundred watts of panel over there, bigger panels now. Because that section over there, we use those to uh, control the uh, uplighting along the yard, along the fence, on the trees, and side of the house. Those are my uplighting. So let me pull you and pause again, YouTube, because I have another set. Okay, YouTube, this is my uh, little setup here that I have in the garage side and what this system does with the one 12 volt D-cycle battery I have here the system runs the um, solar panel I have uh, four Harbor Freight 15 watt panels outside here and the, this system control the lights above the garage outside I have two 10 watts LED and that's what the system does right here. So that's what's going on. 
that's the voltage from the panel 51 59 volts corresponding up there at present we're pulling in three uh three watts maybe the battery is already charged there's a line on top so there's not much going on the yeah, panel voltage is fluctuating between uh 59 60 volts that's i'll tell you that outside light on the front it's on battery amp r100 it's a flooded uh, battery percentage uh, 49 percent you have to try to put it in a bigger charger though but this charge so at present we have 0.4 amps going into the battery the battery sit is sitting at 12.7 volts And this is a tracer. This is a tracer charge controller. Pretty simple. Nothing fancy. This is what I use it for outside here, YouTube. And this is just for the lights that sits above the garage door outside with Harbor Freight solar panel. So as you can see, the wattage is coming in off the panel right now. Not much going on, it's an overcast day. So let me start back. Well, that's my system, YouTube. Eventually, I'm going to take a little shelf and put a little shelf right here for the battery. I'll put it on pause again. So back to the Aura. And those are the wattage. Pin one is doing 640. Uh, pin two is doing, um, it's fluttering up and down. It's going down now, as you could see. Out back. And that's why call back is doing right now. Try and get rid of glare. Our back is um, going 390, is taking in 4.4 amps off the other panel and pumping up 14.1 amps. So far from this morning, we did 1.9 kilowatt hours. We're in um, equalizing. My uh, panel voltage is coming in is 96 volt. Battery voltage going out is 27.8 volts. That's my system, YouTube. Let me put you on uh, pause and open my battery box. And uh, this is my battery box. I have 12 um, Duracell, uh, 6 volt deep cycle golf cart battery inside here and I'm running series parallel this is my system YouTube and um, everything is doing great I cannot complain. And we have a uh, BLS battery sulfator that's also on the battery here. It stays on 24 7. That's my battery shunt for the uh, big drum.
So let me close this down. Let me step back. And that's my nice little battery box. We could sit on it. It's quite comfortable. This is my outdoor entertainment system. It's sitting here. Uh, same thing, this plays off the battery whenever we choose to turn it on. You just plug into the power simple right here. Power simple is hardwired into the uh, into the reliance transfer over here. And then the fans, this gray wire here, they are plugged into the side of the power sink. And these are my batteries for my lawnmower and drill and so forth. So present, we have the fans that are on right now outside here. But this is my little crash area, YouTube, my little center room. That's my hammock, I relax drink a few beer when i want we're still working out here it's not finished it's my little project i started and um i did this little walkway last week going up to the um uh, little pool it's my grill over here let me put you on pause and uh yes you too yeah, come back over here. And we also have a TED. It's also going on. So let's break the TED down. So MTU one represent what the house is taking off the street. MTU two represent what we're pulling in off the solar panel. So right now, um, office street is cost is costing me two cents per kilowatt. What we're generating, I'm generating roughly ten cents per kilowatt. So this varies up and down. So let's take it through the window here. So right now we're doing a negative. So when you see that on the dollar sign uh, per hour, so we're doing a negative. So right now we're producing more than what we're using in the house right now. So whenever you don't see a negative, that means we're taking from the street. So right now we're pumping back into the street. Right now we're pumping over 828 watts back into the street. We're pumping basically seven cents. No, I'm not getting paid for this because the uh, power company that I'm with, they, they say they don't pay for, for, for anyone to generate their own electricity from their house. Solar panel. If I was with Georgia Power, then yes, I would get paid. I'm with Schnappen Shows, and they say they don't pay for it. Do whatever I want to do. So it's for my own interests and my own peace of mind. So yes, they are getting free power from me. And yes, I still have a bill. I still have a bill. I don't have any zero bill. I do have a bill. My bill is anywhere between twenty and thirty dollars a month. And then with the taxes and the surcharge line that I have to use from them, so it might bring me up to maybe about a. Uh, what is sometimes fifty dollars a month? But yes, I wish I was getting paid for, for overproducing, but unfortunately, I'm not. So, talk to you again, YouTube. This is Dark Inside.